Hi, my name is Tammy, and I'm in a lot of trouble. I have a homework assignment due tomorrow, and I haven't even started it. I'm supposed to graph the functions on my table. First, I don't even know what a table is. And second, once I have a table, how do I graph it? All right, so your question is, how do you graph a function from a table, and what is a table? <laughs> okay, well, those are good questions. <laughs> um, first of all, a table is a series of values that show you what an input value is and then what number comes out when you put that input value into a specific function. So here we have um, the table from a previous lesson that we used where we figured the function, uh, where we sort of calculated what the function would be, and we wrote it out. And our function was 4, oops, need a brush here, was 4x plus 1 equals y. So with this function, we take a number, whatever it is, in this case we'll start with 1, and we multiply that number by 4, 4 times 1 is 4, and then we add 1 to it. So 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So if our input number is 1, our output number is 5, and you can see we've headed the table that way. If our input number is 2, we put a 2 in here, we get 4 times 2, that's 8, plus 1 is 9, so our output number then is 9, and you can see that our output number came out to be 9. So what the table is is sort of a, a visual numerical representation of what happens with a bunch of inputs. As each of these numbers is input into a function, this number comes out of it. Now to graph that on a graph, um, we call this a Cartesian system here. It really is also known as an xy graph. And that's because this line here represents our x value. And this line, the vertical line, represents our y value. So we can just put a point anywhere on this graph and represent two numbers at the same time with that one point. For instance, our first pair of numbers here, x is 1, y is 5. If we start here with 0, and on our x line, we go over by 1, so this way 1, and then on our y line, we go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we put a point right here, this point actually represents two numbers at the same time. It represents x is 1, y is 5, and we write that in this sort of, we call an ordered pair notation with our x value first and then our y value second. So if you ever see this ordered pair, uh, some number, comma, another number, and in parentheses, they're probably talking about a point on a graph like this. Now another point would be, with our information, 2 and 9. So we'd have 1, 2, and then we'd go up to 9 up here. The next one is 3 and 13. Well, 13 is going to be clear off my graph. It's going to be way up here at the top of my screen. But the idea is that each of these points, then, you can see, kind of go in a line. Every one of these points is on this same same straight line that goes down right through all of them. And you can see that if we were to follow that line on down, we'd hit another number down here. It looks like actually maybe down here one. I missed it by one. And we could try that and see. We could actually guess and say, hmm, it looks to me that if we were if we were to go down and follow that same straight line, we'd get to this number here. Would that number be on our little graph? Well, this number here would be x is 0, because we haven't gone left or right at all, and y is 1. What happens if we plug 0 into our function? Well, we get 4 times 0 plus 1 equals what? Well, 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So with our function that we have, if x is 0, y should be 1. And we can see that that's the case. That's exactly where that little dot looked like it went if we drew in a straight line. So let's go ahead and draw our straight line here. I'll grab my line tool. And we can put a line that comes down and crosses through all of them. And now any number that's on that line is a solution to this function. And that's how you graph a function from a table.